So scientists at University of California, Berkeley, have looked at the cockroach, and most of us, when we see a cockroach, we either scream or try to step on it. They've looked at the cockroach and said, you know, that might be a good robot for disasters, because when you've got a disaster and a building collapse, you can't get into tiny places. So the amazing thing about cockroaches is they can squish themselves to about one quarter of the size of they no that they normally are, and still move very fast. These cockroaches in the, out in the open can move about a the equivalent of 140 miles an hour for us. That's if you scale it up. When you squish them down, they could still move the equivalent of 70 miles an hour. That's still pretty fast. So they said, well, let's make a robot that works just like a cockroach. So it's a palm-sized robot, and it can compress 50%, not a quarter like a cockroach. And the idea is eventually, it may take a few years, they'll be able to build these swarms of these cockroach-like robots that when a disaster can go into cracks and crevices, and they'll have sensors, they'll have cameras, maybe microphones, CO2 detectors, to see if there are people. And the other thing they could find out is how stable the ground is for the people to go in. You don't want to send rescuers into something that's not stable.